We continue to track the migrant crisis unfolding in the Spanish enclave in North Africa. Thousands have tried to swim or climb their way into Spanish territory from the northern tip of Morocco since Monday. Many who are reaching the beach are unaccompanied children. Spain is taking a hard line by tightening its border and expelling many of those who make it through. Tessa Arcilia is following this story and joins me now from Brussels. Good morning, Tessa. What's the latest you're hearing on this crisis? Good morning, Jennifer. Well, first of all, uh, Spain has asked their troops to move towards the border of between Morocco and Spain to basically patrol the area and uh, control the migration that is ongoing at the moment. And it has indeed uh, increased in the last week, this influx of migrants. Now, thousands have tried to cross. The latest number we know is some 8,000 uh, migrants. And around 2,000 uh, of those, or 1,500, are unaccompanied minors, children, teenagers. We are seeing uh, video footage of some of them in the water with plastic bottles attached to them, trying as used as flotation devices, trying to reach the shore. Now, Spain said that they had a sent back thousands of migrants, but the children remain in the territory. They cannot send back uh, unaccompanied minors. Now, they are sounding the alarm and they're asking regions for help in taking in some of these minors. Save the children also sounding the alarm on the condition of these children. Take a listen. We are very uh, worried about the conditions in which uh, children find themselves on after swimming. Uh, by sea to reach uh, Ceuta. And so uh, we are asking to provide adequate humanitarian assistance and uh, psychosocial support uh, to children and families uh, with children who have arrived and reached Ceuta. So what is happening, Jennifer, we also saw some clashes uh, in the border town in Morocco. Uh, it, it seems that despite these measures of increased patrols and increased troops and uh, riot police, the migrants are continuing to push their way to reach the Spanish territory, the enclave of Ceuta. Jennifer? And Tessa, why is it reaching this crisis right now? You know, first of all, it, this goes back many years. So there is renewed tension in Western Saharan territory, which, which used to be occupied by Spain and it's now being claimed by Morocco. So there is an independence movement in that region. Now, what is happening is that there's been a diplomatic spat between Morocco and Spain. They normally work together to control this migration issue. But uh, Spain had allowed the leader of that uh, independence movement to be treated for COVID-19 in a Spanish territory and that incurred the wrath of Morocco. They said they, there will be consequences. Now there are suggestions from Spanish politicians that this border issue, the migration issue, is being used to exert political pressure. Uh, the European uh, Commission Vice President Margrethe Skinas had said in a radio program that the European Union will not be intimidated by anyone. Those are his words. So this has become a diplomatic spat, although the migration flow between between the two countries are already have been ongoing because of those tensions in the Western Saharan territory.